Hey, what's up my YouTube friends? Welcome to my review of this light. Now, this was sent to me for testing and review. It was sent in for review by this website here. All right, flashlightbrand.com. Now, with this flashlight, you have a choice between red, green, or white. I chose the green because of the range. Here's a closer look at the light. So as you can see, there is ample texture for grip. You've got a removable pocket clip. You've got a tail switch. And this has a TIR lens. That's a total internal reflection lens. So the max lumens, 950. But the real action here is the max beam distance, 650 meters. The light does come with a lanyard, a spare o-ring, and a recharging cable. It also comes with an 18650 battery. All right, to get at it, unscrew the tail cap. There's the stats. And there is the charging port. Now that battery has rapid Type-C recharging. All right, and to recharge it, just hook it up to any power source. This is a power bank. When it is recharging, it will blink red. You see there. When it is fully charged, it will stop blinking. If this is plugged into the battery, you can use the battery as a power bank to recharge some other device if it can plug into there. So it has a power bank function. That's a nice bonus. In order to turn on the light, press the tail switch. It will default to the high mode. Notice that is the high mode. Now, this also has momentary on, so you can half press. If you half press again, you can select the low mode, right? So that's the low mode. And if you want constant on, just full press. And now you have the low mode constant on. All right, warning, we're going to be strobing. There's going to be some flashing lights. All right, so in order to strobe, you half press twice quickly. All right, let's do that. And there you go. That's the strobe. Okay, my friends, at this time I'm going to roll in the outside testing and demonstration footage for this light, and then we'll come back for final thoughts. This is a low mode. Let's go to the high mode. Wow. There you go. So it's a very focused, very focused hotspot. We're on the bike, right on the bike, getting some exercise. Wow, this is a focused beam. Look at that lightsaber, green lightsaber. All right, so, hope you're all doing well these days. It's got some vegetation over here. It's a fairly pleasant evening. You notice? Did you hear that? No, you don't, because there's no wind. Video makers love when there's no wind. All right, let me give you a top view, this light. Nice. Uh, so there you go. And here we are overlooking the creek. Uh, you get close up of the water. Check it out. I mean, you can see everything. I'm up on the banks of the creek here. All right, so there we go, the opposite bank. Up to the treetops. Green lightsaber all the way. Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're out on the sports field. I'm standing in one goal. There's a the goal. All right, we're going to try to go goal to goal. And there you go. Okay, awesome. Hold on. Wow. Okay, there you go. Sorry for any background noise. Okay, you see that? Wow, this is an excellent light. I am way back here. Check it out. Check it out. Nice. If you had a man-sized target at that goal, yeah, you would see, I mean, you would see everything you need to see. Wow. 
So this is an excellent long range light, no doubt, no doubt. And we are back, I hope you enjoyed that. Final thoughts on this light. I love throwers. I love long range lights. Now I use all my lights within 200 meters or less, usually within 100 meters. So if the max beam distance is 650, I know damn well this is going to dominate at the ranges that I usually use it as, or at, you know, about a, a hundred meters. Now, this thing is perfect for light, uh, lighting up a man-sized target, let's say, spotlighting a target. And the green just makes it, makes it easier to see more detail. I'm very glad that I chose the green. This would be an excellent hunting flashlight. And yes, I know, right, I'm not talking about hunting deer, wouldn't be legal where I live, but you know I review air guns now, and I definitely have many that could take, uh, well, let's just say small game, stuff that you can, you could hunt at night. So this would be an excellent hunting flashlight, or just general security. You know, because this uses an 18650, it's relatively compact, it's relatively easy to carry, light in weight, and yet for that, I mean 650 meters max beam distance, this thing definitely punches above its uh, size and weight category. So I would say if you need a very long ranged flashlight with a very focused beam for hunting, for security, or just, you know, appreciating nature. I mean, most of the time I see an animal out there, if I'm biking or something, I do night biking, right? I just want to see what it is. I'm not going to harm it. And I've seen uh, foxes, things like that. I've, I saw a coyote just running through the mist one time. But yeah, excellent, compact, long-range thrower. Highly recommend it. This was sent in for review by this website. Now they don't just sell one brand. They don't just sell Manker, okay? They, co they cover a lot of stuff, but this is one of their best lights. All right, so again, thank you to this website for making this review possible. And if you need flashlights, go ahead and check them out. I'll include links underneath the video for you. Okay, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this review. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Flashlights. I'm out.